Ten dude, I'm assuming, and we're going to Battlefield. I'm gonna see a lot of uh, good movement here from Abate. Always really good with his uh, wave lands and every, everything. Now, one, one thing that Voodoo Jin has told me about Luigi and Teens before is he really excels with characters that can just kind of like pop up the opponents. And I don't think anybody really does that better than Donkey Kong with his up air and his uh, cargo up throw. So we might see a lot of team combos consisting of things like Donkey Kong up air into forward air. And I believe that was a down smash kill. With Luigi? Yeah. Gave him the old uh, chop. That was the forward smash? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Forward smash hit quite vertically. Name him just lying. I'm a filthy liar. <laughs> Fire right into uh, Samus's loving arms. And it looks like Duck and Nintendo are taking a slight lead. Um, Duck is, he's staying really safe. He, he tends to be a really safe player. A lot of Samus's do. Doesn't look like he's going for anything flashy, just kind of pretty, pretty uh, guaranteed stuff. Yeah. Well, one interesting thing about both Donkey Kong and especially Luigi is they're pretty heavy and pretty hard to actually get true combos on. Um, Luigi in particular, oh, nice up air kill. Luigi in particular is famous for just narrowing out of people's combos all the time. Oh! Gives him the Olaboo. Well, not quite. But I agree with that. That was actually, that was a huge swing in momentum. Not even just the, the stock and percentage difference, but morally, yeah, he exactly. beats you up a bit. You're like, wow, that guy just did that to me. Especially because he just comes back and gets a kill. You know, it's like, what do you do when there's a giant ape running around just grabbing people and carrying them to the bottom of the stage? All right, it looks like Green Ranger's just trying to control center stage with back airs, kind of play it safe. Get a solid combo from Duck though. Don't know if it'll convert into a kill. Green Ranger is one of those, or Green Ranger, uh, Donkey Kong is one of those characters that is easy to edge guard, but in teams has a pretty good recovery. You know, sort of like Ganondorf or Captain Falcon. Right. Oh, Up almost shield pokes the shield. Made here doing some work. There you go. See if he is able to clean up Duck here. Gives him the old Abate Karate. Ooh. Another misfire. If that had hit Duck, people would have freaked out. Ooh, getting a solid edge guard, and that actually kills Duck. Now, this is a really scary situation for Nintendo because he's got to hold the stock. Um, oh, not quite. Get the eye there from Nintendo. He's getting really close, though. There you have it. Another misfire. Samus now is in a rough spot. However, both opponents are at high percent. But um, in particular, Luigi does fairly well against Samus. And I believe Abate has done extremely well playing against Duck in the past. Oh, gets the first kill. Now let's see if Green Ranger decides to just leave him with the stock. Oh, the read! <laughs> A bait psyching him out with the uh, sticky walks. However, that was a solid showing from both teams, game one. Right. That was, that was still fairly close. Off the bat, uh, Nintendo Duck kind of kind of went to a lead and then came, or, uh, not necessarily came back, but I guess kind of coordinated a bit better. Yeah. And now they have counter pick, so um, I'm guessing Dreamland is going to get banned. So they're discussing stage pick right now. Uh, Final Destination and Pokemon Stadium are probably not likely picks. I I'm imagining we're going to see Battlefield again or Yoshi's Story. Congo Jungle is open, but I don't think Duck wants to go there. Is Congo Jungle open? I assume so. 
I, I know it is at some tournaments. And yeah. I, either way, um, that would actually be a really good pick against both Donkey Kong and Luigi. You think Duck would want to go there, though? Nowhere to really grapple? There's nowhere to grapple, but I think that it hurts the recoveries of the other two characters a lot more than it hurts his. Okay. Luigi in particular, um, it can be rough because he can't really side B like into a wall to kind of align himself. Right. How does that work exactly, the, the side B once you, um, with Luigi into a wall? Uh, well, it's just, you know, it'll stop your momentum. So, um, say you're on like Final Destination, you can side B at the wall from under, like a uh, bit from the ledge, and then you can kind of just like double jump up in sweet spot. Okay. And it makes his recovery a lot safer. And in the worst case scenario, you get to tech. But they go back to Battlefield. I'd say it's a decent pick. Uh, they just need to clean up, I suppose, how they played a bit. Uh, Green Ranger started off strong there. Almost got a kill on Duck off the top. Was one or two uppers away. But looks like they have lost stage control. A bait, though. He's bringing it back. A bait, we said before, his platform movement is just super good. But, like... It's, he's really, like, totally changed the way that Luigi's movement game is played. Um, and so it's really hard to, like, take stage control from a bait and keep it from him. Like, he's all, he always finds a way around you. Good slap from Nintendo. However, a bait is still at a fairly low percent. You see what he did down there? He goes under the stage and then jumps out. That's what that's what I was talking about before. Mm -hmm. Man, these Donkey Kong combos. One thing you'll see Luigi do a lot, um, both in doubles and in singles, is wave dash into a forward tilt. Because Luigi's forward tilt actually has a lot of priority. And so that's one of his safest approaches because he can mix up between wave dash forward tail, which will beat most moves, and like jab, jab, grab, or something like that. That down here is not going to kill. And both of these characters are kind of annoying to edge guard, both uh, Samus and Peach. I like this from Nintendo. Just just wait it out, let your teammate come back. Oh, that misfire could be really bad. Does he still have his double jump though? Doesn't need it. That was an unfortunate trade for Green Ranger, but he manages to make it back just fine. Might be in some trouble here. Next back to the FB. And I think he's still alive. But he's just going to get edge guarded here. Oh! Bait was a save, but uh, ended up dying himself. And now look at this. Duck and Nintendo have a significant lead. The back throw to that. Back throw. And right as I say that, I did not expect Samus to die so early. Oh, everybody's favorite move, the talentless hack. Peach not able to get the edge guard great, on Donkey Kong. Great defense there by Bait, helping GR get back on stage. Ooh, these, these hits from Samus and Peach just sound so brutal. All right, now, this is a bad situation, obviously, for Luigi, for any character. But you can't count a bait out. He has had some uh, pretty famous 2v1s. You know, one thing I haven't really seen much is uh, Nintendo pull any turnips. Is that something that's uh, common for teams? Or um, a lot of the time in kind of like the neutral game of teams, you don't just have you just don't have a chance to pull them. Right. Um, he was pulling them for edge guarding against Green Ranger, but. Yeah, he hasn't been pulling them too often. Just, I guess, just because he hasn't had the time, especially against Luigi, who's so fast. All right, and there is a uh, game two. We go into game three. Now the bans we saw from 
uh, Duck and Nintendo were Final Destination and Pokemon Stadium. I really doubt that we'll see a bait and Green Ranger go to Final Destination just because a bait hates that stage personally. But we might see them go to Pokemon Stadium because I know that's Green Ranger's favorite stage and a bait tends to play on there a lot. And I think that'll give them a bit more vertical killing power against the double floaty characters. Right. GR likes to work that uh, the up air game again and again. See what's going on with chat. Wonder what Nintendo is talking about. Talking strategy, it looks like. And here we go, Pokemon Stadium. All right, and it looks like they kind of were trading 1v1s there for a bit. But now, one, one tough situation in teams is when both players on a team are next to each other and they're surrounded by the other team. Wow, that was a really nice kill from, from Green Ranger. But anyways, when you're surrounded like that, um, you get into this interesting situation where you can't really do any team combos and you kind of get hit into your own teammate kind of get in their space a lot. Um, but at the same time, you're also able to save your teammate much more easily. Pretty good lead here if they can uh, get rid of Simons pretty quickly. Yeah, Duck was just... He wasn't even moving, he was just standing there, missile, missile, missile. Um, didn't seem to work out for him, though. Really great start, though, by Peyton Green Ranger. Yeah, Blue Team is definitely in a good situation here. Especially because they can, even even at these percents, they can live a long time. So they, they still got a lot more left on these stocks. As I say that, Abate gets hit by an air and... Okay, commentator's curse. I guess I should just keep my mouth shut. <laughs> um, even so, they still have a pretty significant advantage. They gotta be careful about jumping into those down smashes though. In particular Donkey Kong, because he's so big. Gets a nice up air kill. One thing uh, that's kind of tough about Samus and teams is, oh my gosh, nice charge shot. Is she takes so long to recover that when she gets hit off stage, her teammate is kind of forced into uh, fighting a 1v2 situation right. for a lot longer than most characters. You saw Nintendo float a couple times whenever that would happen, just right. kind of stall for a bit. Duck and Nintendo are taking this back pretty strong, though. And here we see that turn up game, the projectile game. Wow! <laughs> the wall of projectiles. Uh, I think they just don't know how to deal with that. Um, I know Abate has been practicing his power shields recently, but that's mostly on Falco lasers. Alright, looks like they've taken back control a bit. They're behind in stock still, but if they can get these two kills here, um, then Blue Team will be in a good position. There it is. Now they just gotta be careful in handling the Samus, because... Well, both Peach and Samus really are in crouch cancel percent right now. And here we see some of those turnips. Yeah, I guess he heard what you were saying. Yeah. He's like, yeah, turnips, that's a pretty good idea. Forgot about them. It, it also might be because of the stage. There's no, like, top platform to really hide from the turnips. Right. All right, and we are in a last stock situation for Blue Team. Bait with a decent start there. JR hits him once. Yeah, it looks like Green Ranger is just kind of trying to play the back air game and play safe while making sure that, oh my gosh, that was that was the kill they needed right there because now Duck is in a really bad situation. Oh, good save though from Nintendo. Dude. That would have been almost most certainly the game if uh, Samus lost that there. <laughs> Did you see a bait went for the power shield there? A little cheeky, but he apparently didn't need it. All right, now Peach is certainly no chomp in 1v2 situations, but 
It's going to be tough because neither of these characters are easy to give. Playing great so far, though, in this 1v2. Oh! He pulls the Stitch face, which could have been what he needed, but... It could have been something great. Doesn't connect. That was a really good set, though. Really close games. Well played by uh, both teams. Anyways, I am needed elsewhere. It was nice commentating with you, Toro. Send someone else up. All right, I'm not sure who's coming up next.